barricades, traffic cones, construction, all are landmarks here in Omaha. But you're about to see even more of them because of upcoming street projects, and they're not just going to be downtown near the Mutual of Omaha site. In addition to the work being done around the future skyscraper, several other road projects have already begun around town, including 29th Street for the Highlander development. And starting next week, I Street will be closed off to through traffic between 102nd and 108th Streets until November to widen the road. We knew that the street was in need of additional maintenance and a widening. One of the businesses there is Recycling Processing Center First Star Fiber. They say the added sidewalks will make things safer for pedestrians as opposed to them walking on the shoulders. Another business along the stretch that did not want to be identified says its biggest concern is making sure the trucks can get in and out easily. Google shares that sentiment but says the city has been communicating well with him and that it recognizes the trucks must be accommodated. Any major delay would really affect them. So the city and we are very conscious of having access at all times. Assistant Public Works Director Austin Rouser says the I Street work is actually a two-year project that the city is halfway through completing. It and other street projects that recently kicked off are scheduled to last six months or longer. Rouser says those time frames are standard construction windows. We have a construction season in Nebraska that's really from March until November. So we have to do projects within that window. He says those scheduled closures take weather delays into account. And while he says most of the contractors the city hires work six or seven days a week, a noise ordinance keeps them from working through nights to speed up the process. People tend to frown on noise coming out at night. You know, you've always got backup alarms, you've got heavy equipment. Also, this past Monday, Q Street between 61st and 72nd shut down for improvements. Rouser says that one's not a city project, though. And if you would like to see the full list of upcoming and past street projects that the city is working on, we have that linked on fox42kptm.com. Reporting for Fox 42, I'm Joe Harris.